Hello and welcome to another week of energy and star sign readings. And as you can see, again, I'm not at my home. Again, I'm at Heavenly Treasures with my dear friend Michelle Williams. And we're doing another week. Today we'll be looking at the week of August the 19th to the 25th. This is the last sign or the last week for the star sign of Leo. We're moving into Virgo um, on Friday uh, in that week. Uh, but before we go and look at the uh, um, star signs, we're looking at um, the overall energy for the week ahead. Okay, <laughs> you fell out. <clears throat> Nearly there, guys. Okay. The overall energy for this week is difficult to describe because um, obviously everything is, is, is spirit-led. And what we have this week is the spirit of initiation and the ancestor of guidance. What it really means is the changes we're all going through, everybody in their own little world, or in a bigger world, whatever you want to call it, the changes we're going through are not over yet. And the spirit of initiation means that you're actually getting, energetically speaking, higher because you're looking at your issues and if you don't look at them, they will come to you anyway. So this is a week where, energetically speaking, um, you need to trust your intuition and you need to remember that you have guides. Every sentient being has got guides from the tree to the animals to us. We all have our own guides. And what they're saying is all these things that are happening to us this week are all lessons. So the idea is to let them happen. Some of these lessons are painful, but we have the, the ancestor of guidance, which means the, uh, the guides are around us. It's about remembering um, uh, who we are, what we bring to the table, and uh, how much we are worth, if that makes sense. You know, self-worth, uh, self-love is really important this week. Uh, but it will feel to many of us, when I, mean, I mean us, I mean everybody who watches this and everybody who doesn't watch it, but somehow gets affected by the energy we're creating here. The idea is that we're all going through things and, and it feels like an initiation <coughs> in the sense that, that it can be life-changing. If you are one of those people who are currently on holidays and hasn't got a care in the world, good for you. But reality is, this is the week, August the 19th to the 25th, where the guides are saying the lessons aren't over. Let them keep coming, deal with them as they come, and trust that you will get, energetically speaking, higher, uh, and you will get, sounds a bit weird, probably feel a little more spiritual after you've come through it, right? Remember, we have tons of star signs to look at, and I don't mean for this to sound um, negative or low, but because we have the spirit of initiation, that typically comes up when, what, no matter what happens, feels at times no idea what to do here. And the guides are saying is, that's perfectly fine. Just pay attention. Something will happen. We help you through it as best we can. Okay, and when I say as best we can, this has to do with the fact that we all have free will. Sometimes they send us signs that we just miss. Okay, sometimes we need to wait for stuff when we get impatient, all these things. So it sounds a bit airy-fairy, even to my ears, so to speak. <clears throat> we will uh, probably find out more as we move into the star signs. All the guides are saying, if you had enough, <laughs> you have to grin and bear it. The lessons are not over yet. Okay, Dirk. So let's go into the um, star sign of Leo to kick this off. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to use my tarot deck. If you're wondering where the noise comes from, two of her beautiful children are in the next room, and so you know you sometimes can hear them, but it's. No, no harm done, it's just children's voices, all good. Right. And we're starting off with Leo. Okay, so for Leo this uh, this week, we've got memories of love and we've got solitude. So what they're saying here is this is a time where you're actually going to be remembering quite a lot of memories from the past. 
Now, this could be memories of happiness. It could also be memories of sadness. But either way, it's saying is embrace the memories that come and, and kind of file them in your system where they belong. So if they're memories of hurt, then you kind of file them in, in, a, in a box within your, within your body to say, do you know what? That's something that I want to lock away and not deal with it, but lock it away and not give it too much attention. OK, but they say to you, memories, happy memories is what you should be remembering. The card next to it is your solitude card. And it's saying that um, you need to be a little bit more of an open book, um, Leo's. You, you need to you need to be sharing a bit more of how you're feeling because what they're saying is this, for this week, you could actually be in a room full of people yet you feel really lonely. And they're saying to you that you, you need to open that little book a bit more, let people in, don't be afraid to let people in because this week you're very misunderstood because you're dealing with um, past issues that you're not addressing. Um, and what's happening is you're shutting yourself off to the outside world and people are taking it personally. And, and we really shouldn't care what other people think. However, don't be pushing away the wrong people, okay? There you go. So, moving into Virgo, and as I often say, and have said, you know, in the two, two years that I've been doing these videos, or we've been doing these videos, um, that sometimes star signs have overlapping energy, where you can hear one star sign and then parts of it sort of continues into another star sign. This is exactly what happened here, uh, just listening to Leo going into Virgo, because you have the God of Rain and the Maze Mother. What they're saying to you, you know, you just had the, the happy memories and, you know, feeling lonely and all this kind of stuff. Virgo, basically this week, tears are your best friend. In the same way, renewal is your best friend. You know, not stressing over stuff. Um, let the emotions flow through you is really really important and here's the important thing if you allow yourself to to acknowledge how you're truly feeling and it doesn't have to be um only the feelings where you feel like you feel burdened if you all of a sudden feel you want to play air guitar right and you feel very happy that's another emotion that oftentimes um virgos in this case dismiss uh, when i talk to people about you know <clears throat> How often they still play as adults, I get all these weird looks like saying, what do you mean play, right? So that in itself gives you a clue. All the guys are saying is honor your feelings, honor your emotions. And if you need to cry this out, cry it out. Because you have the Mace Mother next to it, which means the Mace Mother is a, is a, is a symbology about the you know, Mother Earth having the field that we call this planet. And the moment you let go of all the things that... Um, burden you and the moment you work through them which is again is the, the theme that I'm seeing here having listened to Leo it's about looking at it uh, it's not about not doing anything about it or dismissing it out of hand right you have the whole field which means the whole world the world is your oyster if that makes sense you allow your feelings to come to the to the fore no matter what emotions are, are coming up and it sounds a bit wrong um, I wouldn't say you will be rewarded, but you will feel much lighter and you have actually made a big step into your own healing journey, if that makes sense. Sometimes people hear this wrong. When they hear about a healing journey, they, they, they assume their life must have been miserable. <laughs> Not at all. But in reality, everybody has a trauma of sorts. There's always something that sits inside you that was caused by a situation or by people and um, all the guides are saying is acknowledge that too. That doesn't mean you're broken. That doesn't mean you're damaged. It just means that there's something there that hasn't been looked at, that hasn't been worked through. Maybe it is difficult and it will take years. Who knows? All the guides are saying is you let all these things happen, right? Like the God of Rain, allowing yourself to really, truly cry this out. And you will have made a big step into your own healing. Okay, that was Virgo. Okay, moving on to Libra. <clears throat> the Libra, we're using the Goddess cards. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so again, we seem to be going in with the same sort of theme. So um, for Libra, we've got endings and beginnings. And we've also got easy does it. The endings and the beginnings are saying that the old must be released in order for the new to enter. You can't expect to start a new project, a new relationship, um, a new phase in your life, unless you let go of whatever was holding you back in the past. But then the card next to it is saying easy does it. So what it's saying to you is there's no rush. 
because everything happens in perfect timing okay so even dealing with your emotions happens in perfect timing but you have to release old pent-up frustrations first otherwise the same pattern is gonna recur over again and then you're gonna make the same mistakes as you made in the past so i'm saying to you just be gentle on yourself no need to hurry or force things to wrap to happen as everything is occurring in perfect timing okay okay that was libra going into scorpio let's see what they got for scorpio Scorpios are being asked this week to not stress over anything. You have the spider and the coyote. The spider is the animal that tells you that within your web of life, you decide how much space you give to people and situations, and you are perfectly safe within your web of life. So don't stress over anything, um, even if it feels things are stressful. Um, don't make it worse by... Um, um, I wouldn't say manifesting bad stuff, but, but, but by expecting for things not to really work. And this could be based on your experience so far. All the guides are saying is learn to take it easy. We heard that just before here. Uh, easy does it. Same message to not stress. And here's another important thing because they have the coyote. The, the message of the coyote by default is that he's a scavenger, which means he knows there's always enough to go around and to feed him. So what they're saying is, don't stress over anything. Your life will continue and you will just be fine. Okay, look, that was Scorpio going into Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're using Archangel Michael. Okay, so you've got God is in charge and write about your thoughts and feelings. What they're saying here is very often, especially this week, you're going to, um, Sagittarius, yeah? Yeah. Sagittarius, you're going to be coming up against um, issues that you've got no control over whatsoever because the, the control is taken out of your hands, okay? There's nothing you can do about it. You just need to work best with what you're given, okay? So remember, when somebody else is in control of issues and situations, they are never in control of how you deal with it. So it's really important to know that you are still in charge, even though it's out of your control, because um, obviously you, you're the one that is totally in control of whether you do things nicely or whether you do things not nicely, okay? What it's saying here as well is write about your thoughts and feelings. What this card means is saying you need to express yourself, okay? But it's really important, um, the guides coming through at the moment, to say make sure you use diplomacy and tact, okay? So something's happening, you're not happy with it. Talk about it, but talk about it respectfully, okay? Because when you talk about it respectfully, instead of going in like a bullet to gate, then you're gonna be giving respect back in return, okay? Okay, moving into Capricorn. For Capricorn, it feels to me that things are on the up, so to speak, because you then have the dancer of life and the hunter of paths. What it really means is you create your reality. Doesn't always feel like this, but to a certain extent, actually to a large extent, we do create our own reality. So what they're saying to Capricorn, you are the dancer of life. You create your own reality. So if a situation needs to be changed, you have the willpower and the power to manifest, to change it and to make it the way you want. It might not happen overnight, but you are in control and in charge of your own life. So you have the dancer of life, dancer of life and you have the hunter of path. So what they're saying is if you feel something isn't working, then manifest and believe in what you really want to do. Really, really important because sometimes people stop believing when to their mind or in their mind it is not um, logical anymore. I always say that to people, if you were in your 50s and you wanted to be an actor, don't think it's too late, right? Just start. Um, as, as far as I remember, I think that the gentleman that did... Um, Alan Rickman, I think his first acting job was when he was in his 40s, right? Professor Snape, just saying, there's tons of people that can do that. So what they're saying is, don't make it about age. Don't make it about um, how you perceive things. Whatever you want to do, go for it. Because you have the dancer of life, which means you create your reality. And the hunter of path is, is to actually, to not dismiss anything. 
in in short whatever you really want to do as impossible as it feels um there might be other ways um you know you could i just made that up obviously with the with the um with the acting you know if you wanted to be in a heavy metal band when you were 20 and you're now in your 50s you might never really play in front of a million people you know but you could still be in a band who's stopping you what's stopping you 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 with me really really important for capricorn to remember the hunter of path you decide which way to go just go for it dismiss all worries and just manifest what you feel you should be doing regardless of circumstances because sometimes we're closing doors right um, what comes to mind is is capricorns and i see um let's just how the guys show me this i see um uh, a single person with with children and so everybody then says like i have to make sure the children are safe and what the guides are saying it doesn't quite work that way this 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 is your unit the universe will always look after your unit but if you're not happy they can't really get the happiness you can't just give them everything you got and because you teach them that it is perfectly fine to not live and do everything for them so what the guides are saying is if you are happy the universe will find a way for all of you to be happy because you make it about yourself right so it I hope i hope it, it, it didn't sound selfish but that's just what the guides give me right and that was capricorn going into aquarius going into aquarius we're using the overall fortune cards <clears throat> Okay, so we got the flowers and we got the chameleon, the way. What they're saying here is for Capricorn? No, Aquarius. 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 So for Aquarius, when the flowers card comes up, it's a card of generosity. And what it's saying is, again, this is dealing with issues from the past. What it's saying is, if you've been hurt in the past, don't be afraid to love somebody in your present, in your future, because of the damage that's been done in your past. Okay? So it's saying, give yourself freely give yourself generously okay and um, don't tell everybody with the same brush the card next to it is beware and this is saying matters of the heart matters of emotions um use your intuition if something doesn't feel right about somebody then kind of not give them too much of your time okay but trust your intuition even if that intuition's not what you want to hear if you're if you've just met somebody because i'm feeling this is quite on the relationship front um if you've just met somebody and something doesn't feel quite right please trust your gut feeling because the chameleon can change itself to blend in and say what you want to hear so if you feel like somebody say telling you something that you want to hear not uh, you're not feeling that it's um coming from the heart then really trust your intuition and and work with it okay but on the other side it is saying um equally so if your intuition saying to you this is good then give yourself generously okay Okay. So next uh, star sign is obviously Pisces. I'm a Pisces myself, and I don't feel like giving the reading for myself, so I'm just listening. Okay. So if you could just do Pisces, so please. So Pisces, <laughs> we're going to do the back to my tower deck for Pisces. Ah, lovely. Okay. So we've got triumph and we've got partnerships and alliances. So what this is saying is for Pisces for this week, charge ahead confidently. Let go of fear. Okay. It's a, a wonderful warrior card. You charge ahead without second thoughts of the outcome. It's just a case of positive thinking. I'm going to do this. You get on that horse. You're like, I'm charging full steam ahead. I know the direction I'm going in and whatever obstacles come in my way, I'm going to be bashing through them and I'm going to be absolutely storming it. But it's not something you're going to do on your own because you've got hands of partnership and the hands of partnership are saying that partnerships and alliances so anyone that can help you take it don't be too stubborn or too proud to say no fine i can do this myself because um pisces you are quite stubborn sorry i thought aries were bad but yeah you're, you're quite um you know independent that's the word i'm looking for um and what they're saying here is independence doesn't come into this this is saying if there's somebody that can pull strings for you along the way you do whatever it takes to grasp that hand and say right okay help me i need help but this doesn't stop you from charging forward okay you're charging forward confidently but you're taking 
all the help you need along the way. Okay, good luck. Okay, that was Pisces. And now the stubborn Thomas is doing the next star sign. <laughs> let's look at Aries. Which is a stubborn me, because I'm Aries. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look then. <laughs> Just for the record, Aries, we're always right. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that's very interesting. Um, I always say that when, when, when um, animal guides show up, that are in itself either too similar or opposing. Um, which means, because it speaks of conflict, uh, inner conflict. And we have the leopard and the panther. And this is a sign of inner turmoil. So what they're saying to Aries, you have the leopard, which is the animal that has unique stripes or unique dots, right? And you have the panther, and the jaguar and the leopard can become the panther, which means your uniqueness is hiding inside, in other, it sounds a bit wrong, in, in someone else's skin. So what they're saying is, you, you know you are unique, you know that you can do a lot of things. But because of maybe insecurity, um, worries, um, you know, financial worries or worries how you, you are being perceived, you're not doing it all. And therefore your, your uniqueness, which is actually what makes sense to people when you speak from the heart, people listen and they know they can count on you because you speak from the heart. So what, what the inner turmoil is, that even though you know you're the person you can trust, sometimes you don't trust yourself. So that's the inner uh, conflict where they're saying is don't hide inside the panther. The idea is of this analogy, the panther is black and it's not a good color in nature because you get shot more often than an animal that has camouflage, which would be the dots. Okay, so what they're saying is you have everything you ever need, right? And you're good the way you are. So don't hide. Don't go into hiding. Okay, okay now what okay. Aries? Going into Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, we're going to go with Archangel Michael again. Okay, so for Taurus, we've got admit to the truth to yourself and act accordingly. And you've also got be gentle with yourself. So what it's saying here is there's situations coming up this week where you know in your heart of hearts what needs to be done. But you kind of don't want to admit it because if you admit it, then you have to deal with it. And then sometimes dealing with it is actually endings. And some of you don't want to be doing that. What they're saying to you is you, you need to, for your own preservation, your own self-preservation, and for you to be able to be happy, genuinely happy and moving forward with your life and, and progressing, you need to be admitting the truth with what the situation is going on in your life and acting accordingly okay but next words you've got to be gentle with yourself so what it's saying is you know there's nothing worse when when you you kind of know something and then you admit it to yourself and then you think oh my god i'm so stupid why did i put up with that why didn't i see that what it's saying to you is don't 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 criticize yourself okay you've got a wonderful heart and um just because you give people too many chances and you give people too much the benefit of the doubt doesn't make you a stupid person that doesn't make you a silly person uh, or um you know, a vulnerable person. It just makes you a person with a big heart, okay? So just be gentle with yourself, but make some changes to suit yourself, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Then now we're going into Gemini. Um, and I work with animal guides, as, as you all know, and I have my own cards here, and every card has their own guides. And for the last five, six minutes, um, I was drawn to one of your decks. Okay. So can I just use th that deck? Yeah, I'm really yeah, drawn yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm using this deck, which is called Fortune, uh, Fortune Reading Cards, um, for Gemini. Here we go. Luckily, I have big hands because this is a big yeah. set. <laughs> it really is. Right? So we're looking at Gemini. And remember, we're looking at the week of um, August the 19th to the 25th. We're moving into the star sign of Virgo on Friday uh, in this week. Right? And here we're looking at Gemini. You have the star. And wish. So the idea is, is to, to remember that when the star comes in, you know, it's just a representation of the fallen star, um, the worst is over. Hard times are over, right? So um, you, you, your life will actually be easier, if that makes sense. Really important 
and then you have wish next to it sort of self-explanatory the idea is to remember you can take a deep breather things get easier and now it's time to manifest what you really want from life in other words take advantage of not feeling shite all the time you with me when you feel like you know what i'm feeling good today that's the time to manifest um, i'm big into rituals always have been absolutely love them but sometimes it takes too much time to organize them to arrange them you know and to and to create the space what the guides are saying is if you have half an hour and you want to manifest you use any tool that you can find and that you're comfortable with and manifest on the go right and on the spot it's all good your life is easier the worst is over time to manifest that was gemini going into the last star sign um, of the week which is cancer just like to say that for this week i would like to be gemini <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> doesn't quite work that way um we're going to go with the goddess cards for for cancer okay so for cancerians this week we've got unconditional love and we've got the guide and children card what these are saying is um, this is a time for you to actually love yourself more. Um, love yourself, love other people, you know, bring compassion into your life towards yourself and to others. Put yourself in other people's shoes. If you're doing something and, and you, you're kind of thinking to yourself, do you know what, how would I feel if I was in that situation? Then what they're saying to you is now is the time for you to actually act as though you were that person in that situation and take a step back and maybe do things slightly differently. But we've also got the Guiding Children card and the Guiding Children card is to say stop taking life so seriously, okay? Because when you're actually deep down a fun loving playful person, quite mischievous, um, don't let everything that's going on at the moment in your life kind of make you take a stern exterior when that really isn't you, okay? Um, Cancerians are very straight thinking usually but what they're saying to you is, is this week, just take a slightly softer approach, okay? Okay, and like I said, we, we're looking at the week of August the 19th to the 25th, and while I was listening to the final star sign of the week, the guides highlighted the number seven to me, because two and five, 25, two and five is seven, and um, the idea is just to mention to you that there's always sevenfold protection, which is the highest protection you can get, and I'm just gonna, um, throw the um, Archangel Michael grid uh, at you. Uh, if you ever feel, and at any time this week, and this is for all the stars and for all of us, um, you need protection, there's a very easy way. I'm gonna say this three times and then you just copy it over or do your own version. The idea is to say this, I call on Archangel Michael, right? You can call on any deity, anyone that comes to you. To me, it's always been the same Michael's grid, right? So I call on Archangel Michael. I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. I ask you to cover me to the front, to the back, to the left, to the right, from above, from below, and in the center. Thank you, God, Goddess, and so it is. Right? It just came to me, this is just how the guides work, and it actually is a very powerful thing when you're, when you're uh, not sure about life and when you uh, feel, you know, I could do with a little bit of protection here, you know, um, it's sevenfold protection because it, it does everything, basically. So, well, that was the week. Thank you all for watching. And uh, by the way, thank you for all the, 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 the lovely comments that you always leave. Really appreciate it. And um, yeah, that's all we have time for. Bye-bye.